Outraged by tonight's revelations? Well, have your say right now with Anita Anand and Brian Alexander on BBC Radio 5 Live on AM, DAB Radio, Digital TV and online. How much do we know about the man who would be PM? Would he take us to war? Will he tax us more? Will things really get better? Andrew Marr asks, has it got to be Gordon? Panorama, Sunday at 10.15 on BBC One. You can't choose your family, but you can find out who they were. It could be Chinese, it could be Indian, it could be anything. Colin Jackson unravels his complex heritage. It has been an incredible journey for me. Who Do You Think You Are continues tomorrow at 9 on BBC One. This is BBC One in the Northwest. Now at 10 o'clock, the news with Hugh Edwards and Annabel Tiffin. A military coup is underway in Thailand. Army leaders say that the constitution has been suspended. There are tanks on the streets of Bangkok, but so far there's no sign of violence. Soldiers are occupying government house tonight, 15 years after the country's last coup. It's all happened while the prime minister is out of the country. We'll have the latest from Bangkok and the reasons for the coup. Also tonight, a top premiership manager faces allegations of taking bribes. For the first time, a British serviceman pleads guilty to a war crime. Centre stage again, Charles Kennedy takes his message to the Lib Dems. And Australians prepare to pay a final tribute to the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. And in the northwest, protests tonight after a woman is arrested in Bury under the Terrorism Act. And Leonardo's work takes off the northwest animators who've brought greatness to life. Good evening. There are tanks on the streets of Bangkok tonight and a military coup is underway. Army leaders say they've suspended the constitution and formed a new ruling council, which they claim has the support of the king. They've announced that Thailand's stock market, banks and schools will be closed tomorrow. And they claim that all power has now been wrested from the prime minister. Well, first indications of a coup came with reports that tanks had surrounded the main government building in Bangkok. Prime Minister Thaksin, who's at the United Nations in New York, declared a state of emergency and said he was sacking the army's chief of staff. But in Bangkok, the army declared martial law and appealed for public support in the coming days. Well, first tonight, let's go live to Jonathan Head, who's in Bangkok. Yes, Hugh, well, it's been eight hours now since the military first appeared on the streets here in Bangkok. So far, the city's remained remarkably calm throughout all of this. And the coup leaders say they will return to civilian rule very quickly. But no one knows quite what to expect after this startling series of events. At first, it seemed hard to believe. Tanks on the streets in one of Asia's most lively and cosmopolitan cities. But to the astonishment of many Thais, it soon became clear that this was indeed a real coup, although a surprisingly relaxed one. Soldiers surrounded government house where they... The one to watch tonight. With damaging allegations of corruption, Panorama uncovers football's dirty secrets at nine, here on BBC One. You give her back to me! You hurt her and I'll hunt you down. She's sleeping now. Her eyes are closing. EastEnders, all next week on BBC One. Every so often, someone comes along and changes things forever. <laughs> and it's never the kind of person people were expecting. Tim Cleavage. Lies, lies and more lies. I could do better than this lie. Couldn't we all? You could. If I was to stand in the election, what would you think? If anyone on Earth is equal to this in their own bonkers way, you are. Fingers out of noses. I would like to donate £10 million pounds to your national campaign fund. Stop it before it goes too far. Down to earth, but far from ordinary. They're frightened of you. The amazing Mrs Pritchard, coming soon to BBC One. 
Look, David Bowie. Hey, I want to write a good, credible comedy that would stand the test of time. Ooh. You said if you get your own show, the offers are come flooding in. You had any phone calls at all? Sky called, and they say they can put your dish up Thursday. Extras, Thursday at 9 on BBC Two. They say he's a bit of a charmer. Catching teenagers on stolen bikes, the Sky Cops are in the air tomorrow at 8. But right now on BBC One, custody battles and marriage proposals. Just another day at Holby City. If you would like to know more about members of your family who served in the military, visit the BBC website. If someone walked into my house, I'd say, clean... But he was supposed to start for answering questions. Who did he say did it? Beth. Claims he was just turning into the... Hey, Gail, break it! 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 Break